see towards Tompkinsville and into portions of Metcalf County. That's where we've got the snow right now towards Edmonton, at least some mixing in all the way up to Greensburg towards Columbia, Burksville. We're going to take this slow here. You can see that. This snow is shifting out fairly quickly. We're at midnight here, so less than two hours. That's the time frame we're looking at, but we may have a heavy enough burst of snow to accumulate again, mainly on grassy areas. Still some snow out there towards Jamestown and Albany by midnight and then after that it's completely out and we actually do get clear skies. Now the thing is with the clear skies temperatures will start to come down. We may have a, a little refreeze of any sort of precipitation that's still on the ground, whether that be a puddle or just a little slush. So that's the only concern tomorrow morning. So very, very minor concerns for that Tuesday morning commute. We will have enough sunshine out there during the day really looks nice temperatures getting into the 50s right now we are in the 30s out there 39 in Bowling Green, Scottsville, you are also basically out of any snow chances. Tompkinsville, we're down to 34, so you guys still have that possibility here. Edmonton as well. Over in the Burksville, we're at 39, 41. A little problematic in Albany if you're looking for any of that snow, but still temperatures will try to come down over the next two hours when we do have some of that snow move into the area. But 41 degrees, that's not going to allow a whole lot of snow to stick. Winds are pretty light. They were gustier as that colder air started to come on in, but they are lightening up just a little bit. So a late burst of snow possible for areas well east of I-65. We're talking about towards Edmonton, Tompkinsville, Burksville, also into portions of Adair County, all the way over to Campbellsville. That's where we could get that very, very light accumulation on those grassy surfaces. Just don't see any big problems for you tomorrow morning, but Raquel will be in dark and early tomorrow morning for AM Kentucky Live. As we go through the day, you can see on Tuesday, we've got temperatures way, way above freezing. We're into the lower 50s, and we can do better than that. For Valentine's Day, closing in on 60, we'll get to 60 likely on Thursday, and then by Friday, maybe a few showers towards the end of the day. A cold front comes on in, really cools us down for Saturday. We don't have a whole lot of rain, and temperatures not too bad for Sunday into next Monday.